guys welcome to our youtube channel my name is rebecca panuam from ur stories leo tuko kwa street ur stories hi guys my name is claudia mayana leo tuko mta kawangware tumekuja ku interview watu kuhusu hospital neglands so tuko hapa na mr jonte habari nzuri sana Endelea jeleo. Kwa salama. Okay, so uh, ningependa kukuuliza experience yako uh, ikoaje ukienda kwa hospitali ile uko treated aje. Okay. Eh, Nimekuwa nikiattend nikia eh, se hospitali za umma kwa mara mingi. Eh, na common yangu sijaona shida kubwa isipokuwa kumekuwa na shida ya upungufu ya madaktari wa ama ama wa hudumu wa afya. Ndio. Aha. Na ukiwa kwa hizo hospitali za umma, yeah. ushaipatana na daktari mwenye anakuhudumia unamwona ni kama hakuenda shule, ni kama yeye mwenyewe ako confused hajui Kenya anafanya. Ndio la. E, daktari wengi kwa bahati mzuri naipata daktari ukiangalia hata maendeleo yao vile wanakuhudumia una kwa hakika wa timu. Kwa hivyo hospitali za umma mingi majority wa daktari wa team ndio okay na kwa hizo hospitali ushaipatana na mtu mwenye uh, umeingia kwa hospitali uh, daktari anakuhudumia ni kama he's rude ni kama like ni kama hataki kufanya kazi yake like he's talking to you rudely handling you rudely la sisi sema rude ama sisi judge kwa kutaka kunihandlea nalingana na shida gani nimekupeleka pale lakini wakati nyingi ukiangalia sisi sema ni rude ile wanapata wamekuwa overwhelmed kazi ni nyingi wako wachache so kazi kiwa nyingi maybe anaweza kutolea stress ya kuwekea tu ni kama la la ndio anajaribu kupunguza ile convention mingi ndio lakini ya kudumia anakudumia kwa nje ile mzuri nimeona kwa wakati mingi si kwa kwa hakika sina lalama wote na so ni professionals like our late stress zao kukuletea they just handle you well sijaona eh sijaona tuko na Leonida Omalwa Nicolas Lugale mhm naitwa Claudia So uh, tuko na topic ya hospital neglands. So tunataka kuuliza like experience zenu kwa hospitali. Like how you are treated and everything. The way uh, wanaopatia services kuna venye like wana treat vizuri ama there is some kind of way mnaona ni kama it's not a good service. Lazima utumie do ukitaka kuhudumiwa vizuri lazima utumie pesa ndio wakuhudumia vizuri. Hasa hiyo ni kitu ya kwanza. Ukikosa pesa hospitaliza siku hizo ni nothing. Lazima utumie pesa. Mm. Okay, recently uh, my mom alikuwa ame kuwa injured na one of my brother. Alimkatakata kwa kichwa. So he was she was referred to Kitale, Kitale Hospital. I think hiyo ni hospitali kubwa sana. Getting there Uh, alikuwa anaenda afanywe scanning ndo tujue hiyo mfupa kama ilishika alikata ikashika kwa mfupa ama ndani so kufika hapo hakuna kitu tulifanywa scanning tulitumwa St Luke that is a private hospital it is just behind the hiyo referral hospital tukafanyia huko scanning scanning peke yake tu kuangalia shida ni nini 8000 hata niko na mabarua niko na mapicha na kila kitu zenye tulifanyia huko haijaisha hata siku tatu then tukarudi hospitali tukaambiwa these are the results so it's like they are connecting huyo daktari wa huko ana connect na wa manasu wa huko na unajua ayuko ayuko kwa hii hospitali ya government so sami nikashanga how comes huyo daktari anapigia wa manasu wa huko anawaambia hiyo kichwa haina shida haina shida kubwa sana what you do muandikieni mada madawa so mimi niliuliza wa nas ninawezaje kukuja hapa scanning mmenituma nje Ninakuja hapa sasa hii dawa mnaniambia twende tu, tununue madawa nje na mnataka muadmit mamangu alale na since morning hakuna kitu memfanyia hata pain killer amjafanya nini amjampatia one of the nurse alitoroka akanitumia na mwingine mwenye yako chap chap kuongea lakini alinipata mimi nami mimi si wa mchezo 
So tukapelekani hivyo tukapelekani hivyo akasema haya sawa mnaonaje mama abaki hapa lale ama tumotoe nikamwambia aezi lala hapa kwa sababu one amuna madawa tu nimefanyia hii scanning nje ni haja gani ya yeye kulala hapa wakasema hapana tunataka lale hapa ndo mfanyie nini dressing nikamwambia madawa gani nyenye mtamfanyia dressing na hata hakuna madawa so wakatutoa twende imagine venye tulifika hapo asubuhi eh, that was my sister mimi nilikuwa kwa barabara na kuja from Nairobi to Kitale tukakutania hapo tangu asubuhi mamangu hakupewa hata pain kila yoyote ya kuridius hiyo uchungu alikuwa amefura uso mzima sasa ile time nyenye niliwauliza hiyo maswali wako na mimi nimewashinda walikuwa wametupatia form tujaze hiyo hospital sijui amekula amelazwa sijui 200 sijui amekula amelipa pesa ngapi amefaa nini kitanda vitu kama hizo ilikuwa inakuja total of 1700 nikwauliza kukuja hapa asubuhi walilipa 200 ya kitabu sasa hii mnaitisha hii 200 ya nini so nikwauliza mimi nataka kulipa hii pesa but silipi cash nataka mnipe pay bill nilipe nayo wakaniambia hapana hapo tunatoa tu cash kwa vile nyinyi asubuhi mnilipa 200 saa hii mnayazalipa tu kitu kama 900 and fee and 50. So wakati waliona mimi naezaleta shida hapo ili nichanua wengine, ah wakaniambia tu mimi nifanye nini? Mimi nitoke. So nikatoka na mamangu tukapanda gari nikamrudisha nyumbani, nikaenda kwa private hospital. That's where my mom alipata good service up to now. Ameniambia ametolewa uzi kwa kichwa, anaendelea ku recover. So easy hiyo ni private. Easy hospital za serikali Sincerely speaking hakuna kitu zinatusaidia. Aidha mkubwa wa hiyo hospitali hapo ndani, ako na hospitali yake nje, unafanywa tu hapo hiyo service na wanakutuma nje. And then that service wanakuuliza. I was shocked to hear one of the nurse anasema, "We utaki kulipa hizi pesa. Mbona utaki kulipa hizi pesa? Na hapa tuko na manasu wamekufanyia service. Hiyo si knowledge yao. Niliwaambia, you have been paid by the government and the county government to come here and work for the people. Which service do you want us to pay you and yet you are being paid by the government? Mama mutoke tulete watu wengine." So mimi wakati niliona nimeletana nao hiyo, nikaona si vizuri kama mmekosana hivyo na daktari umewaletenisha hivyo mama yako aendelee kukaa hapo obvious hawata mpea service ndo tukatoka na yeye but hizi ma hospital sincerely speaking si mzuri number two, nisha waifanya kazi spinal injury the largest uh, hospital in east africa yenye na na mifupa ya watu people used to come there nilikuwa hapo kama soja and the treatment yenye walikuwa wanafanywa sio mzuri wa mm, wagonjwa wanapitia shida mingi hospitalini au madaktari wengine hawawashughuliki mtu amevunjika mguu hawawashughuliki wengine wana pretend au ndo madaktari hapo ndani they get the money na wanaanguka wanatoroka so hii so, hospitali hii kitale referral hospital iangaliwe sana na spinal injury <laughs> so kumaanisha madaktari wa siku hizi lazima utumie ganji ndio zifanye ka kazi kama una pesa we na mgonjwa wako rudi nyumbani ama utafute utanati so kumaanisha hospitali zote government private lazima utumie do ndio ukwe mzima kama sio hivyo utarudi nyumbani ukiwa mai maiti na mgonjwa wako asante sana uh, mr jonte kwa kuparticipate eh na pia mimi nashukuru kwa muda umenipatia kwa kuangazia maoni yangu nashukuru sana kwa hiyo platform Welcome. Ah, asante sana kwa your time. Shukran. Who are stories?